Hello and welcome. This is Jay Neal. I'm coming to you from my home office on the Outer Banks of North Carolina. Now today's training is actually a recording of one of our webinars from last week. This is on retail sales, very important part of your business. Now, if you're on the email training, you may get an email twice with this particular link in it, but that's okay because I send out a broadcast to everyone on the list. That way, everyone makes sure I make sure everybody gets the training. Uh, then it will be set to go out toward the beginning of the training anyway. So uh, we'll see you on the inside with some great training. Hello and welcome to the webinar tonight. I'm seeing a lot of people come on. We'll get started in just a couple of minutes. Uh, it's almost the top of the hour. Try to do this kind of quick tonight. We've got some other things going on, so uh, this should be an hour or less, hopefully. Seeing a lot of new names on the, the chat box today. I see uh, we've got people from Canada, Mexico, the United States, Spain, Belgium. Hans, where? who's your sponsor? Oh, okay. Awesome. Well, congratulations. Welcome. All right. Um, let's go ahead and get started tonight. We're going to get started tonight with the retail sales training. Welcome to the OG Nation. These trainings are weekly, and we continue to bring uh, new training. This is, is geared for new people or anybody that's not having a success in their business. If you're not making money, uh, every week putting it in your pocket then uh, you need to be on this training for sure definitely you want to get it to all of your team members so that they can get started too but we're gonna do retail sales training for a number of reasons so let's go ahead and get started all right OG nation to really make money fast and organic gold you need to take advantage of all the aspects of the compensation plan by leveraging the power of coffee industry, you can reap tremendous profits just by giving out some samples. With our compensation plan, there are eight ways to get paid. The first way is retail sales of the product. It is also the fastest and easiest way to put money in your pocket today. Retail is simple, it's powerful, it can be extremely profitable. If you do it properly, it will create a substantial income and it will set the foundation to leverage the remaining components of our awesome compensation plan we have in OG. Now first, why coffee? Well, we all know that coffee is the second most consumed beverage in the world, second to water. Coffee is the second most traded commodity in the world after oil. More than 80% of the people over the age of 18 drink coffee and that, that percentage stands true everywhere. It's globally. 255 million coffee drinkers in the US alone and they drink on average three to five cups per day. Nearly 500 million cups of coffee are consumed in the US every single day. And last but not least, coffee is basically a recession proof business. I mean really, have you ever heard somebody lose their job and say, hey, I'm gonna have to stop drinking coffee? No, people that drink coffee will drink coffee forever. I know people in weight loss, I've been in seven different companies myself, weight loss, nutritional stuff, wrinkle creams. The problem is, is the products are something that you don't normally use on a daily basis. You have to be trained to take those things. Even some of the weight loss deals where they have like a 90 day challenge. Uh, a lot of people have success getting people on the 90 day challenge, but at the end of the 90 days, they, they lose them. Uh, they've either lost the weight they wanted to lose in that period and they stop buying product or they don't take the product like they're supposed to throughout that time, don't experience the results they want and also drop off. With coffee, if they like the coffee, they're going to keep ordering it, keep buying it and it's just a recession proof business. So 
Uh, we have a lot of things in our business that make it great. You know, coffee is basically the delivery system for the Ganoderma lucidum, which is the herb we really want to get out to the world. It will help people enhance their immune system and just make them healthy overall. So with, a, with coffee, you know, it's a great product because it's really recession proof. Now, consistency pays big. It pays huge dividends. Consistently doing three things can create a customer base that will explode, and I'm talking about like an atomic bomb, your business in the next 60 to 90 days. First thing is you want to focus on getting three retail customers per week. Just three customers a week. I didn't say three a day. I said three customers per week. That gives you seven days to find three retail customers. You're going to offer those customers, once they try the coffee, the one for three program. Where they give you a referral for every three boxes of coffee that you sell through their referrals, you will give them a free box of product. You're going to follow up with them and you're going to get reorders and you're going to test the interest to see if that person will want to look at a presentation. It all starts with just three. Just three customers purchasing one box of coffee each is $39 in profit. We all know from the video on choosing your correct auto ship that the average person drinks much more than one box of coffee a month. But we're just going to use one box. This is something extremely easy to do and the numbers are going to be really low. Okay. So I want you to take that, bear that in mind throughout all of these, these examples, okay? But $39 in profit your first week. You're going to repeat this pattern for the next four weeks. Three customers per week, one box of coffee each. That's a total profit of $156 your first month. Now I know $156 is not a whole lot of money. You're not going to do backflips and, and go screaming and hollering from the roof that you're a millionaire. But when you look at the average person is making zero dollars in their business. $156 profit your first month is a good thing. All right, this is a total of 12 retail customers by the end of your first month. We know from our four steps of success, you're supposed to get 10 retail customers. Well, with this particular layout, you've got 12 your first month. Now you can officially call yourself a coffee distributor okay you've got customers you're making money we're well on a road to success now next you're going to grow this plan over the next six months you're going to continue to do the same thing all right so now let's look at month two activities you're going to continue to acquire three retail customers each and every week you're going to offer your customers from first month the one for three plan when you go back to follow up with those customers from the first month, you're going to ask them how they like to taste, how it makes them feel, and you're going to say, hey, who do you think would enjoy drinking healthy coffee like this? For every three boxes of coffee I sell through your referrals, I'm going to give you a free box of product. That will help motivate them to give you some referrals to go talk to. Now, we're going to assume that 50% of the customers from the 12 you got last month will reorder. So that's six. And we're going to assume that 33% of those 12 customers, four, will use that one for three plan. Your month end totals for the second month, you got your 12 new customers, $156. You got your 12 referral customers, $156. You got six reorders, which is $78. Your one for three payout is, you're going to subtract $52. Your net profit for your second month is $338. Again, it's not a huge amount of money, but it's growing. You're almost double what you made the first month. Over the next six months, you're going to continue to do this, and you're going to turn this into a coffee-drinking, money-making machine. Okay? Let's look at month six activities. You're going to continue getting three retail customers each and every week. Offer your customers from month one through five the one for three plan. You're going to assume 50% of that now 144 customers. At the end of five months, you're going to have 144 customers. So 50% would be 72 of them will reorder product. We're going to assume that 33% of the 
of that 144 customers, which is 48, we'll use that one for three plan. Now your month end totals for month six, you have your 12 new customers, $156. You got your 60 referrals, $780. 72 reorders, that's $2,026. Your one for three payout, you're going to subtract $260. Your net profit for month six is $2,704. Now we're talking cash that a lot of people don't make each month. And this is part time selling some coffee. We're going to do some working assumptions here. Total income after those six months is $6,474. 10% of those customers will become distributors, approximately 24. Now, not everybody's going to come in at gold pack and everything, but we're, so we're just going to say 24 silver packs, so your fast track bonus is $1,920. By helping four of those people achieve the same six month success that you did in retail sales, you're looking at $5,178 in dual team commissions you continue to have at least two thousand dollars in reorders every month your potential monthly income is seven thousand one hundred and seventy eight dollars or eighty six thousand dollars a year I know the majority of people don't make eighty six thousand dollars a year and this is a part-time with coffee now you also need to realize that does not include houses buying two plus boxes of product it does not include any fundraisers raisers, or public events or any other type sales that you might have. This is just the three customers per week and their referrals. Now the key to success is you're going to sample, 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 sample. You're going to give out those samples. The four questions. Do you or anybody you know drink coffee or tea at least occasionally? You know, you're going to give out the samples. You're going to schedule a follow-up. Because the second key is follow up, follow up, follow up. If you don't follow up, you're basically just giving away coffee for free. So you need to follow up, find out how they think, what they think of the taste, how it makes them feel, how many boxes do they want, one, two, and get them going. You're going to solicit testimonials from those people when you follow up. How do they like the taste? How do it makes them feel? Have them write that down, send you an email, a text. If they want to do a video testimonial, that's fine. But you want to collect all these testimonials for your arsenal because you can use that in marketing later. Consider one-on-ones, coffee and jazz mixers, salons, barbershops, sporting events, conferences, special events, flea markets, etc. You know, anywhere you can think of. You want to commit to your goal and stick to it. Three retail customers per week. And you want to do this over the next six months. If you only get two retail customers this week, then you need four next week. You want to average three retail customers per week. Make that commitment and stick to it. Only you can create success. You need to understand this. If you have success in your business, it's because you've created that success. If you fail in your business, it's because you've created that failure. It's not your upline, it's not me, it's not your sponsor, it's you. These techniques that you're learning work. If you do them and do them consistently, you will have success. If you don't do it, then you won't do it. So there are skills that you may not understand or, or have a good command of yet. You need to practice and get better at those. And as you get better with those skills, your success will grow. I want to talk about the Coffee Connoisseur Club. This is something we didn't have when I first started and I complained and complained about some way to get customers on auto ship. Because when do you normally know you're out of coffee? When you're getting that last scoop of coffee into the maker. Once you get a customer and you follow up, you're going to need to walk them through the sign up. Go over the benefits of membership. Why it's such a great idea. It's free for them to join. You know, play up that they're saving money on each box. You can show them on the website where it's about $1.50 a box if they're on the, the Coffee Connoisseur Club. They can earn free product with the SIP Sample and Share program. Basically, just like your one for three program you were doing in the beginning, this allows them to get credits so that they can get free product as well. Very much 
helps them out on many ways. They save money. They don't have to remember to order coffee. It comes automatically and they can earn free product as well. Once you follow up and, and you do that work, as you sign people up on Connoisseur Club, then that takes a little bit of workload off you. Now I don't have to worry so much about that particular person because they're on the authorship program on the Co Coffee Connoisseur Club. So now I can devote more attention to those new clients that I'm picking up. Okay, does this make sense? It should make sense to you. This will help you automate some work so you're not having to do as much work each and every week. Okay. Now where to sell? I get this question all the time. The only thing that you need to realize is that the only thing that's going to hold you back is your imagination. I mean literally. Your imagination is the limits of what you can do with this business. I have... A girl in Canada who called me one day and she was saying that she couldn't sleep last night and I thought it was something to do with the coffee and you know I, I was like you know I'm sorry that uh, you know you couldn't sleep you know Ganoderma is supposed to actually aid in good restful sleep and she said no 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 you don't understand she goes I couldn't sleep because all I could think about when I was laying in bed was all every building I see every person I see is a potential customer she says, I don't know where to start. There's just so much and so many places. And I mean, her mind was just running wild with options. And so, you know, if you get on that wavelength where you start realizing that, you know, basically eight out of ten people you see drink coffee. You know, the average person drinks three to five cups a day. So anybody is a good potential customer. Any building, any place with a, with a break room, you know, you know, barber shops beauty shops, insurance agencies, real estate offices, uh, AA meetings. You need to go to the to whoever's in charge of the local meetings and find that and see if you can get them to purchase a coffee for the meetings. You know, homeless shelters, same thing. You go to who's in charge, you tell them, say, hey, you know, you give free coffee to the homeless people that come in your shelter. Wouldn't it be better to give them a healthy cup of coffee to help in their immune system and you know, so it's it's actually better for them than what, what you're giving them. You know, flea markets, you can set up a table and sell coffee by the cup or by the box. And you know, swap meets, same thing. Little League sports, you know, there's, you know, all kinds of sporting events where they have, you know, especially in the fall and the winter when it's cold, you can have hot chocolate, coffee. You know, you could really do a lot that way. Um, basically, anything like that. You know, I have a real estate agent that has free coffee in the office for their customers that come in and they have a sign up that says you know coffee compliments you know the distributor for such and such distributor you know if you're interested in buying some uh, some of this delicious coffee contact them at this and there's a sign up sheet so they can put their name their phone number and their email address as well so you can follow up uh, same thing I have a real estate agent that when she has an open house she sets up free coffee. There's a sign that says, hey, compliments of distributor. Here's some information. If you're interested, call to order. Also, there's a sign-up sheet for their name, email, and phone number so that you can contact them as well. You know, you could have, you know, a barber shop or a beauty shop or, or you know, something and have like a customer appreciation day where you come in and give away free coffee to the customers that come in. And, you know, then you can... Uh, get their information and sell coffee that way as well. How to sell it? You know, it's simple. It really is that simple. The four questions. Do you or anybody you know drink coffee or tea at least occasionally? How do you normally drink that? Black or with cream and sugar? Where do you normally buy it? What's your favorite brand? When was the last time they gave you a check for drinking or recommending a coffee for some, to somebody else? Then you're going to give them the sample. You're going to schedule that follow-up time with them when you give them that sample you're going to call back later follow up to get a chance to try that coffee how'd you like the taste how did it make you feel how many boxes would you like one two go ahead and get it going you're going to convert them into a customer and possibly a distributor you're just going to feel it out you know maybe it's going to be a little bit more time before you get them a presentation but it's simple it's easy it's coffee it really is this way if you stick to this plan for the next six months and just concentrate on getting three retail customers per week, you will see some serious results and you'll put money in your pocket. 
I suggest you put most of that money back into your business to build that business in the beginning. You know, it's up to you to build your business. So we'll see you on the next training. There's more to come. Hopefully you will be here next time so that you can get a step up above everybody else in your business. So we'll see you on the next training. Have a great night.